For five decades, Oilers Hockey in Edmonton has been associated with great individuals who have driven the culture and success of the organization to its place as the gold standard in the National Hockey League. In 2022, the Edmonton Oilers Hockey Club was honored to have established a formal stage to recognize these outstanding contributions by inducting members from the team's history into the official Edmonton Oilers Hall of Fame. Edmonton Oilers Hall of Fame membership may include players, coaches, trainers, staff, executives, or any other person whose role or service was deemed extraordinary during their time with the club. Induction into the Oilers Hall of Fame will include permanent recognition within the confines of Rogers Place, where their names will be forever enshrined, celebrating those that make up the fabric of this storied franchise. With former legends paving the way into the NHL's Hockey Hall of Fame, Oilers greats such as Al Hamilton, Wayne Gretzky, Yari Curry, Grant Fuhr, Paul Coffey, Mark Messier, Glenn Anderson, Kevin Lowe, Glenn Sather, and Rod Phillips were enshrined as members of the inaugural class by virtue of their respective Oilers banner honors. And tonight, the list of icons continues to grow Oil Country, it is our honor to introduce to you this year's class of the Edmonton Oilers Hall of Fame. And now, please welcome to the ice tonight's first inductee, former Oilers defenseman and assistant coach, Charlie Huddy. tonight by his wife Karen and their children Amanda Lynn and Ryan. And now, please welcome the second member of this year's Hall of Fame class, former Oilers captain, Doug White. tonight by his wife Allison and their children Ryan and Addison. Charlie, welcome to where you belong, the Oilers Hall of Fame. The tradition of recognizing Oilers greats continues this evening with the induction of former Oilers defenseman and assistant coach Charlie Huddy into the Edmonton Oilers Hall of Fame. Charlie was underrated but incredibly valuable. Charlie signed with the Oilers in 1979 as an undrafted free agent from the Oshawa Generals. He made his mark with the club during his first two seasons in Edmonton. The rest is history. I played with him for the better part of my seven years with the Oilers and covered up for a lot of my mistakes, but just a, not only a great hockey player, but a great human being, a fun guy to be around. He now stands as one of just seven players to lift the Stanley Cup five times in an Oilers uniform. A great skater, a uh, good puck handler, pass was always on your stick, shot was always on the net, and just, uh, just a super consistent player. Along with his Stanley Cup achievements, Charlie became the first recipient of the NHL's Plus Minus Award in 1983 for the Plus 62 rating. He was the type of partner that most guys dream of having because for the most part he knew what I was going to do before I even did it. 
Charlie retired as a player after 17 seasons and exactly 1,200 NHL regular season and playoff games played. He landed his first NHL coaching job as an assistant with the Rangers in 1998, then returned to Edmonton as an assistant coach for the 2000-2001 season. Charlie was an active community member during his time as an oiler. He and his wife Karen continue to make their home in oil country, spending time with their two children and five grandchildren. Charlie, congratulations. What an incredible honor and well-deserved. Thanks, Paul, for the kind words. It was a pleasure to be your partner for over the years that, we, that I was here. We had a, a lot of great laughs, and uh, I enjoyed my time, and uh, it was a lot of fun. We had a great, great nights. Uh, to the selection committee, thank you. I'm truly grateful for this honor. I'd also like to thank the Cates family. Uh, congratulations to you, Dougie, your family. It's a pleasure to share this night with you. It's a great honor to be out here. <clears throat> I'd like to thank uh, Glenn Sather, late John Muckler, and Teddy Green, as they all played an important role in my career here while I was in Edmonton. And uh, without them, it would have been a it would have been a long journey. But it was uh, they were they helped me immensely to get through uh, through games and get get to the NHL. So I thank them. Uh, to my Orla teammates, thank you. Lots of you guys are here. I appreciate you guys all being here. And I know we're getting ready for the Heritage Classic. Um, you can't win Stanley Cups without great teammates. I was fortunate to have the best when I played, and tonight I'm happy to have you guys here to share this. Uh, thank you to all the trainers I had during my time here. Peter Miller, Kenny Lowe, Barry Stafford, Lyle Sparky Kilchinski, and the late Joe Moss, who, uh, who brought a smile to everybody's face when you walked into that room. You really did, and uh, we miss him. Thank you to my late parents, Phil and Lucy, who drove me all over Toronto to chase a dream. My mother-in-law, Carol, who is here tonight, is here tonight to uh, share this evening with us. Thank you for being here. The family and friends, thank you for always being there with me. To my daughter, Amanda Lynn, her husband, Ben, who is unable to be here as he's deployed in Lebanon. Um, my son, Ryan. Yes, thank you. My son, Ryan, his wife, Beth, and our wonderful grandchildren, Jada, Jake, Violet, Reed, Sloan. I love you guys. To my wife, Karen, who's been on this journey with me for 44 years, I thank you for all your love and support and being beside me on this special night. I love you. Last, last thing, you know what, it was, uh, I never got drafted. I was fortunate to play over a thousand games. I was fortunate to be part of five Stanley Cups. And now to have my name up, up on that wall with all these greats, it's a, it truly is an honor. Thank you very much for this evening. Hall of Famer. Sounds pretty good, doesn't it, Dougie? I'm humbled to be part of the events that recognizes Doug Waite as an inductee into the Edmonton Oilers Hall of Fame. Doug broke into the league as a member of the New York Rangers in 1991, but it was when he became a member of the Oilers during the 92-93 season where he began to write his legacy. He had an immediate impact on the Oilers who were forming a new identity following their cup win in 1990. He was the next star that the team and the city needed in a pre-salary cap era. Doug was named an alternate captain during the 93-94 season 
and would eventually be named the Oilers captain in 1999. Doug helped lead the team to five consecutive playoff appearances from 1996 through 2001. He recorded career high numbers with the Oilers, leading them in scoring for seven of his eight seasons in Edmonton. Only player to lead the Oilers in scoring more than him, Wayne Gretzky. During Doug's time in Edmonton, the Waite family were devoted members of the community. His career has been supported by his loving wife, Allison, whom together they have three children, Danny, Addison, and Ryan. Tonight's recognition of Doug's accomplishments and contributions to the Edmonton Oilers organization are well deserved. I look forward to seeing Doug's name enshrined in the Edmonton Oilers Hall of Fame for years to come. Congratulations, Doug. Thank you so much. Thanks. Uh, thank you for that beautiful voiceover, Billy. Kelly, thank you for being here. We've been friends a long time. I know you guys traveled quite far to, to get here tonight, so I appreciate it. It's almost 30 years. Uh, you guys meant a lot on and off the ice to me, so I love you both. Thank you. Thanks. Uh, Thanks to the Hall of Fame committee, uh, everyone on it. Uh, what a great honor, thank you. Thanks to the, the Oilers organization. Uh, since the, the day I got the call from Kevin Lowe, uh, it's been first class above and beyond, and that's what this organization is. It's a first class organization, so thank you, Oilers. <laughs> Thanks to the players. Uh, nothing worse than this, sorry boys. I'll be quick. Uh, who the hell is this guy? Yeah, I got it. Um, congratulations, Charlie, Karen. Oh, man. Thanks for the plus 62. My best plus minus, I was even before my first game. <laughs> Down from there. Uh, but uh, well deserved. What a career. Five Stanley Cups. Uh, just an honor to share the, the stage with you and, and to be here with you. Better person, wonderful person. So, Charlie Huddy, thank you. And an, uh, uh, hockey's a family and friends sport. We need everybody. So just my family and friends that traveled so far to be here. First of all, Steve Bartlett, uh, a great friend, my agent. Every young athlete deserves the guidance and friendship that you have shown me since the age of 17. We appreciate and love you, Steve. My wife's parents, Phil and Ruth Ann, her sisters, Laura and Kim, thank you for your support and your love. We love you guys. Uh, my sister, Sharon, my mother, Mary, you are both amazing. Thank you for being here. We love you. To my father, who was not able to be here tonight, and by the way, part of me thinks he canceled, I think he canceled yesterday. I think he found out Connor wasn't playing tonight. He said, unbelievable. But uh, he's watching on TV. Hope the couch is comfortable. But uh, we're missing you here. Uh, no question I wouldn't be standing here without my mother and father. So thank you guys. My th thank you. My three amazing children. Uh, Danny's back. He's got a hockey game tomorrow. We know what that that means, so he couldn't make it. But uh, Ryan, Danny, and Addison, uh, your mom and I are so blessed to have you in our lives. Uh, we've moved you from city to city to city. Never a complaint. All you did is thrive, and we are so proud of the young adults you've become. You're beautiful. We love you. Uh, my beautiful wife, Allison, thank you. You are my everything. So uh, it's pretty simple. Thank you for everything you do. You do for me. I don't know what I do without you. 
that's no secret. Uh, but uh, I love you, and, and you're my best friend, so I appreciate it, and thank you for your support. So. What a special night uh, in such a special place in my heart. Uh, I came to Edmonton in 1993, and it was immediately I was given responsibility, confidence, and support from the entire organization. And uh, Charlie had mentioned, I mean, the training staff, I had the same training staff for eight years, and it was, it was Barry, Kenny, Stewie, Sparky, Sliver, and Joey, uh, our family. Thank you for your friendship. Wherever you are, we love you. Uh, to management, uh, Glenn Sather, thank you so much for trading for me. Uh, it traded, uh, it really changed my life uh, and my, my focus as a hockey player. Uh, Kevin Lowe, just thank you for instilling and demanding the Oiler culture to everybody. Uh, it was integral in our, our, any success we were to have, so we appreciate it. My coaches, Kevin as well, Ronnie Lowe, Craig McTavish, Thank you for trusting, teaching, and challenging me. You were great. My teammates, there's so many of you. Uh, thank you to each and every one of you for making our teams the closest, most special I've been a part of in my life. I'm beyond humbled and honored to be inducted into the Hall of Fame. The incredible Euler tradition and the names I will be joining are incomprehensible to me. And of course, a special thanks to the greatest fans, the Euler fans. the loudest, craziest fans uh, I've ever been in front of. So thank you so much. I'll never forget the butterflies I felt gearing up for a playoff game in this great city. Uh, I'm so proud to have played nearly nine seasons wearing the Oilers jersey in front of you. And I will never forget our back-to-back -back playoff upsets over Dallas and Colorado in the pre-salary cap era. I couldn't skate for the first 10 minutes of game three because it was so loud when I, it was my first playoff game. Just an amazing atmosphere. We'll be there again in a couple months, boys. Good luck to you. But thank you for all this. Unreal honor tonight. Uh, I'm humbled and, and it's, uh, I'm extremely proud to be an Edmonton Oiler Hall of Famer forever. Uh, thank you so much. Let's go Oilers. Hall of Fame class, Charlie Huddy and Doug Waits. Way to the world. Uh